Most trucks have a trailer tow package. Basically, it's what you plug your trailer into. You know, it's in the rear bumper, you plug it in, and it connects your brakes, your lights, things like that. We actually made a change to this connector. The original injection molded cap wouldn't fit. So we either had to create a new one or come up with a new innovative solution. Fast Radius is a manufacturing innovation partner. We help companies across the life cycle bring new products to market. The materials and the economics are now making sense for additive to be used in real production applications. My name is Daniel Baker. I work here at Fast Radius. Probably about six months ago, we started working directly with Carbon and Aptiv on building out a trailer tow connector cap that could go to market very quickly. So from getting the design file to printing our first parts was very rapid. We're talking maybe two hours. We were doing four to six iterations a day in the intended production material and the production process, something you can't do with any other means. Getting thousands of identical parts is really tough, and the requirements for this specific part were very tight. We had to follow the same tests as an injection mold part, of course, sealing at 105 C. That's a very harsh test. Do we have a material that will meet these requirements? EPX82 is the only material on the market that lends itself to automotive. We put them through 3,000 hour heat age, the submersion test, there was a high pressure spray, a drop test. You know, it went through the entire gamut of uh, validation testing. What's missing in a lot of the space right now is the repeatability of the process. So where carbon comes in handy is one, materials are great, and two, the printing process is reliable. We're able to show confidence in not only the material, but the process itself, that it is capable of producing thousands of parts very quickly and fulfilling that demand. You know, we were able to reduce 50% out of the cycle time, pass every test and uh, perform the same PPAP as we would as if it was an injection molded design. The progress we've made in the last you know, two or three years in material development is just uh, very exciting. With Carbon's technology, not only can you develop a product very quickly, but once you get to a point where you're ready to test that product in the market, you can go. You know, we've always had fit and form with 3D printing. We've lacked function, and now we have, you know, all three. The material quality is there, the economics are there, and the production reliability and repeatability is there. Additive manufacturing, including the carbon platform, is ready for volume production. This was really our first venture into proving to an OEM that Aptiv, along with carbon, could produce an additive manufactured part that replicated what we typically see in an injection molded part. The carbon technology is at the leader of the pack when it comes to what can product designers use to enable them to stay ahead, not just in the conceptual space, but in making things a reality. Uh, and it gets back to the point I was making earlier about making it real. You just gotta go.